Welcome to clickmyproject.com The title of the project is Online Blood Bank Management System and the abstract of the project, project is Blood Donation Management System is a Python application that enables individuals who want to donate the blood to help the needy. It also enables blood do donation camp organizers to record and store data for people who want to communicate with donors and also and it also provides centralized database. In proposed system, the one organizer can see upcoming blood donation camp of other organization and can receive the best suitable time for organizing the blood donation camp in order to receive good response. The system is developed by using Django and SQLite database. The system targets two types of users, the individual who want to donate the blood and the organizer who want to manage blood donations management. The main objective of developing the system is gather all donors under a single roof and encourage to donate blood. A blood donation occurs when a person vulnerability has been drawn and used for transfusions and are made into pharmaceutical medic medicine medications by process called fract fractionation. Donation may be of whole blood or of specific component directly. The aim of developing blood donation management system is to create an efficient system for the donors where they can get ideas about ongoing blood donation camp timing and also can get ideas about the future blood donation camps in order to plan a data for donating bloods as per their convenience. And the flow diagram of the project is this is admin flow diagram. An admin can log in into online blood bank management system. In that admin can manage the site, manage donor, manage patient, manage donations, and manage blood request. Check the blood request history and update blood stocks. In that manage donor, the admin can edit or delete the donor details. In manage patient, admin can edit or delete the patient details. Manage in the manage donations, the admin can approve or reject the donations in blood bank. In manage blood request, the admin can approve or reject request. In request based, it's in check blood request histories. Admin can check blood blood request histories. And finally, in admin back blood update blood stocks, the admin can add or update the stocks. And the donor and patient flow diagram. In the donor and patient diagram, donor and patient should must register the, the online blood bank management system. Then only they can log in into the system. In donor, they can check the donation history. They can donate the blood, and donor can give a request to the blood request to the admin, and the donor can check the request history. In patient, ma patient can make only the request, and they can check on check the request. I am going to run my project in Microsoft Visual Studio Code. The program was successfully run in the server. So I am going to check the server. This is the online blood bank management system. And it does consist of patient module, donor module and admin module. First I have to go to admin module. So I am going to log in into the admin system. Our username is admin and password is also admin. So in that I have successfully logged into the admin page. In that we have to check the donor details, patient details, and number of donations, blood requests, and request histories, and blood stocks. In that you can check the donor details. You can edit and delete the donor details. And in patient you can also edit or delete the patient details. And in donation, you can approve or reject the donations, get from patients or get from donor. And this is the blood request histories. And in that, you can also check the request from the patients. And this is the blood request from the admin. And this is the blood stock. If you want to add the blood stock, means you can properly add it down. So I. I have successfully added the blood stock. And this is the overall dashboard of the admin donor model. And I am going to register the donor. And I have successfully added the details and I am going to register the donor module. And then I have registered the donor module and I have to sign in. And donor module was successfully logged in. In that you can check the blood donations, blood donation histories, blood request and request histories. In that if you want to add the donation means you can choose. If it is the donation, I have 
properly sent a request to the admin of blood and this is the donation history and the blood request from the patient name if you want to check the patient details if you need to add the patient name like have successfully request from the blood request and this is the patient module that i have going to register the patient details and i have successfully entered the patient sign up form and i'm going to register the account and i'm log going to log in the patient login this is the patient module home page and in that the patient can make a request of the blood and he can check the his histories so in that i have to add the request I have successfully give a request to the admin in that this is the patient history so in that you can check the admin in admin page get a request from the donor and the patient this is donor module in donor module donor request the positive blood if you want to add it means you can edit and further update the details if you want to delete it means you can also delete it so in blood request and harish and reshma these are all the patients if the harish was the patient that we get from the donor module and the reshma is the direct patient that he, had, he has approached from directly to the admin if you want to approve or reject the blood request so in that you can check the request history this was approved and this was rejected so we'll stocks if you want to check the blood stock means you can check the blood so positive blood is reduced if you want to add it means you can find this the audit